Okay, so what's all this hype about Saturn being Satan, the demon planet? Well, the truth is that it is stemming from the Kabbalistic belief that Saturn is an evil planet. It is because it is an imperial sphere associated in Sumerian, Akkad, Assyria, Babylonia with the highest hypostasis of one archon, namely Anu. It is also associated in the uh, Egyptian belief systems with Horus of the Twin Horizons. In Mithraic mysteries, it is the seventh Saturnian rank that was established as the highest possible rank to achieve, in which, for example, Marcus Aurelius was. So, we may assume that both Mithraism and other belief systems were antagonistic towards Judeo-Christianity and the bullshit, and Christians invented this whole idea that Pater Saturnus, and they, by the way, ripped off the whole prayer Pater Noster Saturnus from the Mithraids, and Pater Noster was Saturn de facto. Now, what is else? I would like to explain certain things uh, based on a little conjuration of a scheme that I have made based on trafficking with intelligencers of this particular planet and other planets as well. It was called the Demon Planet because when Judeo-Christians that ruined the true belief systems aimed at claiming or reaching this planet in spirit, in soul, were destroyed by the lower octaves or the demonic realms or the dark side of Saturn for claiming an emperorship or for claiming imperial or sagely titles. They never won them, therefore they were destroyed and shattered in the hells of Saturn and then cast down into crap. So, only those who are entitled and follow the old ancient ways and ancient traditions are entitled to ever reach the regalia of Saturn, even if they pass through ordeals of other planets. Now, this is a simple scheme portraying astrological spiritual structure of the planetary spheres divided into several houses, let's call them Loki, or the place inhabited by intelligences of the planets, geniuses, agathos and cacodaimones, their rulers, archons, as expressing and befitting the nature of the given planetary sphere pertaining to it. It is an idealized picture for dreamers and practitioners of astral magic based on first-hand experiences with walking with those intelligences of planets in the solar system, communing and communicating in the language of ideas inspired and possessed mediumship by high and low octaves of these planets and thus systematizing the experience in order to convey it for. Every model is wrong but some are useful. George Box. Divine chaos is a necessity so in order if a mortal confuses the two he risks either debilitating insanity or infertile sternness. In other ways, lead needs to be transmuted into gold. As a metaphysical scheme, in no way does it contradict physical observational astronomy. It is a question of perspective and experience. So here we have Mr. Planetai on the example of Saturn, a model of hidden world. I divided that into the Council or the disincarnate spiritual intelligences and the sages Eremites. The palace or the rulership of the current and future eras, we may call them eons. The temple cathedral, the house of Hierophants, Magisterate and Magoi, or the Adton Cronion, that's where I go. The Archon, the totality of the planetary nature in all its aspects, aspected by a deity, for example Woden or Odin was a Scandinavian Saturnian god, or a group of them the academia, the learning and activity required by the force of this sphere, and the house, all the spiritual intelligences inhabiting this sphere. Now, it is not a game, as I do not like to gamify existence in life. It's a highly purposeful undertaking. And as you may see, I also placed a image representing a dodecahedron, According to Platonic tradition, the universe was represented by a dodecahedron, 
if we attempt to construct on a hexagon based dodecahedron a figure, a geometrical figure, we emerge with the black cube of Saturn. In other ways, it is a minuscule model of a crystallized inner cube of the universe. What does it mean? Well, it is up for you to discover. My name may be wherefore, but I do not need to explain anything at all. It is also representing the Poseidonic cube or the Poseidonic waters of the universe. After the pyramid, the first emerging space after force, time and space unfolds is a cube. Platonic, polygonal, polynomial processions of metaphysical proportions. Thank you.